This is Jordan Tao with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. Well, DJ Khaled is going around to different uh, like places like Complex and everything and overhyping this Jay-Z verse as usual. Every time he says, the best Jay-Z verse you've ever heard in your life, ever. Then Complex is like, he really is. He's not lying. Yeah, of course, because that's the only way he agreed to sit down and do an interview with you. So DJ Khaled is overhyping it. Hov did it. Hov vocals in. Wow. Hov did it. God did. You've had Jay-Z vocals on like five albums, bro. Drake's carrying your albums now, and I don't even know if he's going to do it this time because that Stay in a Live record was trash. Him and Little Baby was trash. Take the dumpster out. Then we got Little Baby and uh, his artist, uh, One Dirty Tay. And boy, did he look dirty when he got arrested. <laughs> so uh, Dirty Tay, this is disgusting. He actually is accused of shooting a three-year-old in the head. Can you imagine that? This guy is accused of shooting a three-year-old in the head. And you know what? He says it's not true. He says, no, it's not true, man. Uh, so in the case of a young child who was shot in the head shortly after leaving Castleberry Hill Barbershop with his dad. He said, I'm innocent. News is not always right. Don't bash me because of allegations. I don't know, man. Sounds like you got caught out in a shootout and then, and then a baby got shot in the head. And if that's true, under the jail, bro. And this is what I smell. <laughs> I smell a... Rico coming because you can't be having all the people that are assigned to you on 4PF getting arrested for different crimes. You're going to look like a problem in Atlanta and you will all get arrested. I mean, they're, they're, after the this is just the they probably arrested him hoping he would turn on somebody else. Let's be honest. Now, we don't know if they're going to do Rico, but it's <laughs> it smells like a Rico. OK, um, and I can't even feel sorry because like people be asking for this, man. Offset. He said, guys, act like I'm the problem. I paid millions to get my rights back. Y'all block balled me. I didn't say anything. One time, homie, I ain't spoke to you in two years. Now you drop out and want a name and my credit when I'm dropping solo records? Yeah, Offset paid his way off of QC and QC's being greedy. I mean, QC and Migos started together and they built that label QC together and they switched up on them and, and went full on Little Baby, starting a beef between Little Baby and Migos, okay? So I, I don't feel sorry for that. Like, you know, everything crumbles at one point because there's no balance, right? Um, so anyways, yeah, uh, Offset wants off. He's taking him to court, as he should, you know? Like, he should be able to have a solo career. Now, between after him and the Migos, as far as them staying together, I don't know if that's true or not. I don't know what's going on with that. Um, maybe they're just separating for the time being until they can work all this stuff out with QC. I don't think they want to do anything as the Migos on QC anymore. I think they fulfilled their contract with their last album, if I'm not mistaken. People are saying moors across the USA are running out of uh, places to hold the bodies due to you know, overdoses. That's a lie. They would be reporting that on news every day. You know, they're just doing this to this is the next uh, the next you know news cycle that's coming up. You know, they're going to do this. You should have been focused on that, shutting down borders and stuff, so so that stuff doesn't come in. Uh, this is supposedly the the voice between FN Mecca. He says, um, you know, they they gave me the lyrics. I spit it. I was the voice behind the 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 AI. Uh, rapper and uh you know they didn't pay me before and they were supposed to pay me after and they ghosted me and i'm, I'm kind of glad this happened because it's karma and it sounds about right <laughs> um irv Gotti is being bashed online for being a creep and i have to agree okay he's on here saying like yo i was like helping ashanti and then i saw her in them jeans and i was like mm -hmm. so like one time i was dropping her off and i just grabbed her and kissed her and grabbed her butt and she was like, what took you so long? I don't know if she said all that, but like Irv Gotti is just like a scheming little creep. Everyone's bashing him online. People were saying, I did not know Ashanti was being preyed on like this. And the fact that he's being given the space to speak on her like this is unacceptable. Who keeps asking Irv Gotti questions about Ashanti and why? Irv Gotti was really fascinating. It has a really fascinating career arc and story. Had a real chance to redeem Murder or Inc. Legacy, but chose to ruin it all. Being a dweeb about Ashanti. Irv Gotti. Gotta let it go, bro. We all had a girl 
uh, we'd risk it all for and leave and get away with get away this herb, like 50 still hurting over some girl he had when he was, when he, when he was 160 pounds wearing three, six, three X tall tees willingly. No, I don't think he was hundred. I think he was like punky then. Anyways. It's Jordan Tower with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. I will check you guys next one. I hope you guys had a great day. Stay consistent, stay positive, and stay moving forward. I appreciate you all so much, and I will check you guys in the next one. This is Jordan Tower with JT News. Peace.